<laughs> what is up, YouTube land? Oh, MTV Games, you know this is the Rock Band 1 engine. So this is the first uh, band-specific Rock Band or Guitar Hero game, I believe. Yeah. I believe this came up for Guitar Hero or Aerosmith. Spencer specifically requested this. I do not want to play this game. It's Rock Band 1 engine, it's not even any unique assets, but we'll do it. It even says Rock Band Track Pack. But it was released as a, as a standard standalone game, and we're doing them all. We're doing them all. We're not doing the Track Packs, so. though. No, yeah, that, that doesn't count. That's, that's a bit silly, isn't it? Shoot to play out! Alright, so I played all those games today, and I did not Gold Star a single song because all of these songs are extremely easy and then ridiculously hard solo. And you just gotta nail the solo. Luckily I'm here. And this is the Rock Band 1 engine, so uh, no thank you. I'm not grinding this game. No, absolutely not. The unfortunate thing is that I think like one or two songs I'm gonna fail at because uh, there's just solos where it's like descending triplets extremely fast. Like, little, 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 in the Rock Band 1 engine. Yeah, this engine is brutal. Live, folks. Yeah, this is such a weird setup because they didn't put any of the ACDC people in it. It's literally just a very specific track pack. Yeah, it was just the time when EA wanted like anything on the Switch shelves to compete with um, Guitar Hero. But this thing flops so hard. You guys ready for me to hit some eighth notes? No, 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 no. This guy looks like he could be an ACDC DC singer. Not the drummer so much. I saw Jim Duggan or whatever his name is. Is that the uh, drummer? No, the, the, the guy who's singing, he looks like a... Uh, Old wrestler called Hacksaw Jim oh, Duggan. Okay. With that beard.
Imagine being the ACDC singer for uh, an hour, an hour and a half concert. Imagine being the best. Oh, I missed! Are you kidding me? I hate this engine so much. You asked for this, dude. I'd rather play as a rock band three. You bitch. I got a single gold star in the song in this game, and I don't feel like it did that bad. I wonder if this game even has gold stars, how weird that would be. It would certainly be odd. I mean, I did miss like four or five times in the beginning. Oh, look at that. High scores. Whoa. We scored to three for sure. Alright, we're keeping a track of how many of these songs have big rock endings. Zero out of one. Do you think it's going to be 50%? Uh, it's like, yeah. Like sixty percent, probably. I could be. Hey, I know. Uh, ACDC is getting a little bit older. What about uh, getting some fresh blood in? You've been dentist. <laughs> there we go. It's like ACDC singer and Eric Cartman all in one. No, seriously, Thunderstruck is such a perfect opener for a concert. Oh yeah. Opens in silence, then it's just a drummer on a hi hat. Uh, and then. The yeah, you can bring out all the different uh, people one by one, all the different members.
you don't get all stars in this song, all stars don't need this. bought it oh yeah because of gh5 because they had lithium live it was more of me just being like put that entire concert up because it's amazing they already put up all of nevermind which is cool i guess but i want to play poly on drums so here's the question about back in black is this the greatest rock rift of all time uh it hits the sack uh you know it's glad to be back uh, yeah, I mean, it's so simple. Uh, there's a couple ACDC riffs I might prefer um, just overall because of complexity. I think Thunderstruck's riff is amazing. If you, I don't know if you count that as riff. I don't know if that counts as a riff or not. But in terms of finding something that's so simple and so awesome, yeah. this is absolutely in the pantheon. Like, smoke on the Water is more iconic, but that's like cheap. the 
third song, and it's the um, first song that has camera notes for me. I'm not joking. Oh, this is the mama version. Johnson. I was going to say that, but I was like, ah, oh, that can't be right. Here's a little uh, piece of information for you. Um, I don't know why this is, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but ACDC's heights are all very short. Their singer, Brian Johnson, is 5'5". Five five. Their, is that their bassist, Malcolm Young? Malcolm Young is, what is he? I think he's the bassist. No, yeah, he's the bassist. Five three. Angus Young is five two. Yeah, I knew that he was a man, like for sure. The the tallest member of their band is five six. I always thought that was funny. What? Are you fine with us just doing this entire game right now? Yeah, we should. Yeah. Okay. I just, I do not want to play old rock band anymore after playing. 
still have to keep like a rack can for that game's easy. And also has a modified updated rack can too. Like Green Bay did. Anyone that didn't watch our Rock Band 2 LP, I fell out of love that game. I hate it now. I don't hate it, but I don't want to play it ever again. I mean, the engine's just so annoying. It's an annoying engine and a hard set list. I said this before, but Rock Band 1, I can still go back to. Because it has that like old school charm. It's like going back to like GH1 and this. And the songs are not hard. Yeah. in on the guitar I think there's like really fast trills that go on for like 20 seconds and I'm, I'm gonna fail based well I'll hold on to my SP yeah and I'll try to hold on to my SP too I only played these songs once I don't exactly remember but I think it's the third solo I uh, don't know some of these songs I mean it's ACDC so they all kind of sound the same yeah what there's someone out there right now, <laughs> furiously typing. What? <laughs> now, could you imagine someone getting mad at that? I feel like even the biggest ACDC fan would be like, yeah, kinda. What's that other Motorhead song we have on the CID playlist? Overdrive. Imagine being like, Overdrive's completely different from this. <laughs>
your blues. Typing furiously. <laughs> Here's another one. You ready for this? I was thinking about this the other day because we finally finished playing Rock Band 2 and stupid Shackler's Revenge. We finally gold starred that, which is a Guns N' Roses song off of um, Chinese Democracy. And I'm going to tell you this. Uh, Appetite for Destruction is a really good album. Yeah. Every single other album is, at the best, not very good. Yeah. How? They literally, uh, how? It's, it's not even just Appetite for Destruction, because it's really just those three songs. Yeah, I mean, they have some, like, good, like, blues covers yeah. and stuff like that. But in how? terms of, like, the, the general populace and, like, what songs people care about, it's literally just those three songs. November Rain is on Use Your Illusion 1, I think. But that's it.
songs with her definitely carried me on. That solo is so hard. I don't want to play this. So, one, alright, for those of 